Okay, now it is time for us to put in a person, and uh, or at least a character, and for that uh, character to have some um, controls assigned to it so it can navigate through our world. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we have been to this page and that we have downloaded from here. So I have link as the move around JavaScript and the smooth follow JavaScript. Now I believe I've already got those. And what we need to do is we need to come back into here. And what we want to do is we want to go to right click and import new asset. And that new asset, let's move this over here, uh, is those two files that we have just downloaded. So we need to import those in, and I'm just finding them here. This is one place that I have them. Smooth follow, and do one at a time. So I want to move around first. That will import that script in. And now I'm going to go and import new asset package. And I'm going to import smooth follow. Like so. Okay, so the move around, this one here is JavaScripting, this is the script that we have here, and this is the smooth follow that will apply to the camera, what I mean, that is the script that is in there. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a, a capsule. This is going to serve for the, uh, for the, for the time being as our person. And uh, let's play around with the coordinates here, let's make it 250. Just above the ground at 10 and then 250. Now clicking on the capsule and putting the cursor over here, pressing F, that will zoom into where the capsule is. Um, now that's not bad, but it's in a pretty ordinary, boring corner of the map where I don't have a great deal of trees, so I'm going to make that uh, 750. That. Let's zoom in and that's a bit better. You can see it's under the world there, so I'm going to make that a bit higher. It's a bit fiddly this part, you've just got to play around with a bit of trial and error will get you where you need to be. There we go, so now I'm on top of the world and you can see those little trees over there in the distance, that's good. Okay, so to give this uh, life, drag this, click and drag this move around script on top of the capsule there. It's probably not a bad idea at this stage if we right click and we rename that to the layer and we can add uh, more realistic skin to this a little bit later on. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is grab the smooth follow. This is the script that the camera uses to follow our player or our capsule and drag that over to the main camera here. And if we click on the main camera, what I need to do is I need to go over here to where the target is and click on that little bullseye, click on that and we double click on the player, so it follows the, the, the player. This is the distance that the camera is from the player. This is the height, and you can play around with those, those things in there. The other thing that you can do, go back to the player. If you want to, you can change the speed at which you move, and change that to five, and the rotation speed. And now, if I press play, the game will go off and have a bit of a think, and there it is there. So you can see that using those keys I can move around like so. It's a bit dark at the moment, I'm going to need to put in a light. And I just uh, want to see if we can come over towards those trees over here and see what effect uh, those trees have on us. Will they let us go through or not? go through it, we have to go around it. Well done team. Okay, the next thing that we need to do, go to game component, create a directional light. You can see that is really, really bright. Now the position that we want, uh, let's make that 500, let's make that uh, 500, let's make that 500. 
hundred, like so. Down here, and let's press on the G. Let's see where that is. You can see that at this stage that is shown down. If you change that to ninety, it's straight down. So that if you like is like the sun. It's worth playing around with this. The more you um, you increase it, the more it, uh, it becomes really bright and you turn the light down, it becomes quite dark. So I'm going to have mine at about 0.4, and then when I press play, it gives what well, should give. No, it's still a bit bright, but that's a, a much better um, version of lighting than what it was that we had before.